my name is Lizzie and I'm here today to show you the new wristlet clutch bag from Fabricates by Crafters Companion. So what's in the box? Let me open it up to show you. You actually get full instructions with this. You get everything that you need to make it except the thread. So if we have a little look, that's the full instructions you need. It's a really easy project to do. The only difficult part maybe is putting in the zip, but actually the way I'm going to show you make it super easy. So we've got the instructions. So what's in the bag? So let's open this up. Now the great thing is you get the proper size zip to go with your project. Perfect. The colours are beautiful. And we get the fabric panel. And everything about fabric kits is always really easy. Everything is marked, everything is labelled. You know what? The only thing you need to do now is actually pop it under the iron to get the creases out. But you'll be able to see that this, these pieces are the lining. These are the main outer panel. You've got the zip panels here, the here and here. You've got the wrist strap here and the zip pull. And that is your all of your components that you need. So let me turn it around so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. So all you need to do now is give it a good iron, get your best scissors out and give it a cut. So I've cut all my pieces out. I've prepared some already. I'm going to talk you through what I've done. But I've kept two pieces behind so you can see how I deal with these pieces. So the first thing I do, obviously, after cutting out is actually cut the little label out as well. So it tells me exactly what piece this is, just in case I forget. And if you look really closely, there's little black lines and that tells you, tells you where to pleat all the pieces. I'll show you that shortly. So that's the first thing I do. So with all of the panels, they're all labelled up so I can't make any mistakes. This is the zip panel and that goes on the outside of the bag. Well, in actual fact, you could, you could have them the either way around, whatever you prefer. So this is the zip panel and um, you get four of these, two for the outside, two for the lining. And again, I cut them out and I just pop the label on so I know exactly what that piece is. So the reason why I do that is because you have the wrist strap, which looks very similar, but it's longer. Now I've actually stitched all the way down the long side of this. So cut it out, right sides together and just stitch down the long side with the raw edges, quarter of an inch in and turn it through. And there's also the zip pull as well and that just sort of sits, it's like a tab that sits at the side of the bag and it's exactly the same. I've stitched down two of the sides, you know, the right sides together, two together, stitched down and turned it through. Now you might have a little gadget that will actually turn that through for you but what I always do is I stitch a little bit of cord, line it up when I'm stitching and then I just pull it through. Um, really easy to do. I've done that many times before. So those are the pieces that I've already prepared. So you can see why I label things up to make it nice and clear. So I'm just going to show you now really quickly how to do the pleating. Um, and it's a good idea to have some uh, quilting clips or some pins to hand that, so you can hold all the pieces together, all the, the pleats together before you stitch. And I like to top stitch them down just to make sure they're absolutely perfectly placed. So with the two black lines, either side here, I'm just going to pleat this. Now on the picture, if we look at the picture, it'll show you what this looks like. So you can see that the pleats go inwards. Okay, you can do it the other way around if you prefer. So you're just going to fold on that black line, bring it forward and use your clip just to hold that in place. And you want that all that line there of the fabric to follow all the way through so it's all the layers are together so just clip those together then you're bringing that black line over to that black line and again um, because this is cotton fabric um, it'll take a nice crease so I would just give a little pinch um, just to, to to crease it so again just bring all those edges up together like that so if I hold that up, you'll be able to see what that looks like. So you can see I've pinched those pleats together. Let me show you the back as well, because sometimes it's easier when you see the wrong side. Can you see how that works? And then it kind of goes off a little angle there. You're going to do the same for the bottom. OK, so again, you can use pins. You don't have to use quilting clips. And we'll just bring those pieces together where the little black lines are and just give it a little clip there 
or use a pin and again the pleats are going to the middle of the bag rather than the outside but like I say you can change it if you want to so that's how it looks let me just hold it up so you can see there we go all right so now what I'm going to do I'm going to stitch from just about here to just about there I'm going to top stitch it about an eighth of an inch from the raw edge just to hold those pleats in place just keep it as a regular stitch like you would if you were actually stitching the seams make sure those layers line up. There we go. So that's the top done. Looks lovely doesn't it? And then we just need to do the bottom. Again just remove your clips or your pins. Again just make any adjustments if you need to. So now those have been top stitched just to hold those pleats in place. I'll hold that up so you can see. There we go. So it's all nicely done. I'll show you the back. Sometimes it's easier. There we go. That's what it should look like. So now all we need to do is to pop our zip panel over the top of that. So right sides together and you're going to stitch from on the top where the big pleats are. You're going to stitch all the way across so you're putting those two pieces together and you can think about if you've got your fabric the right way around as well so it's all going the same way so we'll just pop this on now so it's a quarter of an inch seam allowance and i would do a little back stitch here There we are, so it's now attached. So I give that a good iron and you're ready to go on to the next stage, which is putting the zip in. So now I'm all ready to put the zip in place. So I've got the zip so it's facing uppermost and I'm gonna put the right side of the main part of my fabric face down, so it's both right sides together. So my zip and my bag are now right sides together. And pop a little um, clip in there or pin this if you wish, just to hold everything in place. I like to do this in stages sometimes. So the next thing we need to do is to put the wrong side or rather the lining with the right side facing up underneath. So you're making a sandwich. There we go. So right sides facing up um, and, and it'll end up so both right sides of the fabric are facing. This is, that's probably the easiest thing to say. And then clip that together as well. So you're making a little zip sandwich. So just pop that in and just bring that those edges together there we go if i bring that round you can see there we go and i'll put a clip right in the middle as well just again just to hold everything in place we don't want it to wriggle so i've put my zipper foot on my machine i'll bring that in and i'll show you how we just literally go straight across that zip if you want to move the zip slider out of the way as you go along then do so. So I'm going to stitch right from this end here all the way up to the other side and I can feel where the zip is. So we're getting quite near to the zip pull now. So I've put my needle in and I'm going to move my zip from here way back so it just keeps out of my way.
So there's my seam going all the way along. I've encased my zip. I'm ready to do the other side now. But if you want to have a quick look, this is what it looks like. Let me just slide that so you can see. So you've got the right side of the fabric showing, the right side of the zip showing. You've also got the right side of the lining showing. But if we flip that back, you can see that that is one half of your bag made and there's the lining. So it's really, really neat. So all we need to do now is the other side. So I've completed the other side and this is what it'll look like. So you've got the outer bag showing there with the front of the zip showing and if we flip that over you'll see the lining as well. So everything looks really beautiful, neat and tidy. So the next thing to do is to get our little zip pull piece and our rips wrist strap and we just need to insert those on into the bag for ready when we're stitching. Um, so all I would do there is, now you can top stitch the same as your pleats if you want to just to keep everything out of the way. So on one end you're putting your wrist strap and it depends on your personal taste where you put it. Now um, I would just get that lining out of the way so you're actually inserting it into the seam of your bag just where the zip panel is. So I'll, I'll hold this up in just a moment. I'm folding them in half as well so my raw edges go to raw edges and again I'll just pop that in there. I'm going to put a quilting clip in there just to hold it. There we go. So if I hold that up, you'll be able to see. So on this side, I've got the outer bag and I've got all the lining pieces. So everything at this moment in time is out of the way. So let me show you what that looks like. So you can see I've attached the, the strap at the top there and the zip pull at the bottom. OK, so the next thing to do, if we lay this down on the desk, you'll be able to see, is I'm going to take the right sides of my outer fabric and just pop that over the top. Um, my lining pieces are already right size facing. Now the only thing I'm going to say to you, this is really important, open up your zip. If you don't open up your zip, you won't be able to pull this bag through. So open up the zip and pop your pieces over the top. And don't forget to leave a little gap between your lining pleats for um, turning through. So because um, sometimes I forget, I'm going to put a little clip in there, a quilting clip either side of my pleat just to remind me that's where I'm starting and that's where I'm stopping. So let me just show you how that looks. So there is my start stop positions with my clips. I've got my lining pieces all together. I've got my wrist strap and my zip pull in place and I've got right sides together. Now, at this point, you can either pin or use your quilting clips to actually pin the whole thing together because we're going to stitch from this point and from the lining all the way around without stopping all the way around to this point. So that's what I'm going to do next. So now I've stitched all the way around from here, all the way around to this point here, leaving a gap like that. I've encased the zip and left the zip pull open. I've put the wrist strap in there and the zip pull as well in the seam. So everything should be lovely and safe and secure. Just check my seams happy with that. You can clip these if you want to and also while I remember you could also stabilise this outer fabric if you wish. Um, this doesn't come stabilised and I quite like that, it's nice and soft. So here we go, we're going to turn it through and this is always the fun part because you, you end up thinking oh have I done this right? You always have. Have confidence. So there we are, let me put the lining in. Just push those lovely corners out. There we go. Probably needs a jolly good press. So there's our zip pull in the right place. There's our wrist strap in the right place. So just poke that zip corner out. And there we have it. All completed. This beautiful wristlet clutch bag uh, from Threaders.